Okay, so you want to start by inserting your survey data. So go up to the insert ribbon and click on import survey data. And this will bring up this um, box. Um, this is where you create a database for that data you've got. And you can set in certain parameters um, that relate to that particular survey. So here I've created one called Georgian Houses Second Survey. Once you click next, you'll then get taken to this next dialog box, which has some options at the top of what data type you want to insert. Go and select the data format that you have. Mine is a point file. Then click on the small green cross on the right side of the dialog box. This will bring up the file selection window and you can choose your file. Mine is a dot out file, which is effectively a notepad file with my measurements listed in the columns. So point number, easting, northing and Z for the height from the ground. So just a quick note about these file types. The final file type I received after reducing my data was a dot out file, which had the exact coordinates and heights in it. I'd started with the raw data from the survey, which looks something like this. Each column represents a different measurement, with the first being the point label. But really it's un unusable for one main reason, and that is that the, the data is relative to the instrument. Therefore, should another survey data set be put into the model with this one, the points would not coincide correctly, therefore reducing the accuracy of the model. This would not have been so much of a problem um, if you're only using one set of data. But in my case, I had three or four surveys which I needed to combine together. So I needed it to be right. To make sure my points were all right, I used a DOS program, which I'm unable to use on Windows 10. So I can't actually show you, but this is the intermediate stage. After I processed this, I, it resulted in a space delimited file with points, easting, northing and Z, as you can see. And it's called space delimited because there are spaces separating the values. If it, there were commas separating the values, it would then be comma delimited. So now we've selected the correct file, we'll then need to specify the right file format, um, which is down here in this box. And then you can check in the view window that you've got the right one. Um, so your data should be in the columns where it needs to be. I can see here that all the points and point numbers in the right column, so I'm good to go. I don't do anything with the networks page as it's more in depth than I need. So I'll skip this one and go straight to the final page of the dialog box. I leave all of these the same, except for one vital checkbox at the bottom, which is the import survey points box. If this isn't checked, your points don't go into the file. And the, it's just the database which is set up. If you wanna change some other uh, parameters, feel free, fiddle around and see what works for you. Once you're done, click finish and we're off.